Hi, thank you so much for joining me in reading another book. And there's so many reasons that I wanted to read this book, but I guess the biggest one is just nostalgia, you know? Just wanting to read it because I love it so very much. I love the book, I love the illustrations, I love the author, just so many good things about my childhood that makes me want to read this book. So without further ado, The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. And this is a picture of him on the back. <laughs> Once there was a tree. And she loved a little boy. You can see the tree, and you can see something else happening on this page. And every day, the boy would come. You can see the tree reaching out. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk. <laughs> I love his, his hands and feet. And swing from her branches. And eat apples. <laughs> I see the apples falling out of the tree. And they would play hide and go seek. Interesting. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. She really does love him. And the boy loved the tree. very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. You can see the tree is taller, and so is the boy. And there's also something on the tree there. And the boy grew older. kind of hard to see, but you can see that there's more than just the boy's feet under the tree. And the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat my apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to play and climb, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I only have leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. You can see the boy in the tree talking but he's not really a boy anymore. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. It's a lot of apples. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children. And so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. 
but you may cut off my branches and build a house, then you will be happy. You can see the tree and the boy talking, but the boy really isn't a boy anymore. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. Took off all of her branches. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. Now the boy really isn't a boy at all. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. See, the tree is just the tree trunk now. After a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old, on, I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. Now the boy is definitely not a boy, but the tree isn't really a tree either. I don't need very much now, said the boy, just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come boy, sit down, sit down and rest. And the boy did. and the tree was happy. The end. Now, I love this story, like I said, for so very many reasons, but it shows just how much someone or something is willing to give you for you to be happy. And it always makes me think of my mom and my grandma and my, my dad and just so many other people that are willing to give me things to make sure that I'm happy and I have what I need and that I can be successful. So to any person out there who's helped me in any way, I would really appreciate you and I hope this book kind of shows you a little bit of how and why I appreciate you. So thank you for listening and thank you for reading with me.